What's up everyone, DPX here, reviewing today, Chucky Season 3, Part 2. Uh, they had to split this season into two parts, uh, because of the writer's strike, so, and the actor strike. And, uh, so, I reviewed Part 1 back when it happened, uh, so now it's May, and they just finished Part 2. So I'm gonna review it. But before we get started, you know what to do, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell and leave a comment, or I will kill you. So I'm not the biggest fan of the Chucky or Child's Play franchise, you know. I've seen a few of the movies, but really my first big foray into this franchise is honestly with the show. Like, and then I kind of got caught up on the rest of the, the franchise, like, afterwards. Uh, I really liked the first season. The first season was a nice, pleasant surprise. Uh, the second season was a bit of a disappointment. And then the third season, the first half of it, I really liked, uh, but, you know, it wasn't quite a, uh, you know, a complete season. Uh, and then we got the second half of the season. Basically, Chucky's in the White House now. And we got uh, the three kids, Jake, Devin, and Lexi, uh, also there, and they get themselves into the White House, and then, yeah, then this whole thing happens. And, I, again, I really liked the, fir the, the first half of this season, you know, but the second half is where it just gets off the fucking rails. It goes off the rails, bro. I'm gonna get into slight spoilers, uh, not too much, though, but, like, I don't want to spoil too many, like, twists and turns that happen, but there's, like, a big thing that they introduce that... I don't think was like in any of the trailers or anything like that. Might have been implied in the trailers. But yeah, I'm just gonna talk about that. And that is the spirit realm. Now this franchise is always like It's about a killer doll. You know what I mean? So you gotta suspend your disbelief for that, but for whatever reason I just ghosts in this franchise just never like it doesn't seem like it makes sense. Even still, I, I think like even if it didn't work the best, it definitely, like, had me on the edge of my seat, like, episodes, not six, yeah, no, episodes six and seven, uh, had me on the edge of my seat, you know, because it was just one thing after another, it was like, holy shit, what's gonna happen next, and then, it was really cool, I will say this, it was really cool to see Brad Dorff actually playing, like, the human version of Chucky, of Charles Lee Ray, right? That was really cool, and, you know, he's killing it, he's definitely having fun with it, whatever he's on screen. But honestly, I think... Uh, something I noticed about uh, this show, they, they kind of fumble the finales a lot. Season 1, I thought, was really good overall, but they... The finale is like the biggest like weak spot of season one. You know, it just felt really rushed. Season two had a finale that did not work at all when you look at the events of the rest of the season. And then season three did, I guess, like it wasn't like as random as season two, but season three's finale also felt very rushed, which is bizarre because I think the, uh, the season 3 finale is like the longest episode of the season. I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. But I noticed it was like 50 minutes long, but it felt rushed. But there's something they did in uh, in the finale where like... Where, where I felt like they could have ended it on that, you know? They could have ended the... 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 the, the um... The, the season on that. But they decided to keep going and they decide to, like, resolve it, like, immediately, you know? I say that, like, that could have been a really good cliffhanger for... to lead into the possible season four, but each every season finale has had, like, a cliffhanger that gets resolved within the first ten minutes of the first episode of the next season. So, yeah. Another thing I want to mention is the whole thing with Jennifer Tilly, or Tiffany Valentine, whatever the fuck her name is. Um... I will be honest, like, I'm starting to get over this character, because, like, every time we cut to her, it becomes a fucking cartoon. 
Like I'm serious. It really, it, it, it just, it really is that bad. Like it, it, like to the point where I'm like, they need to kill off this character. Like it, it, it's, it's that, it's so bad. You know what I mean? But I will admit this. In the finale, they did something with her that I thought was entertaining. Might have actually been the best and most entertaining part of the finale. You know, uh, and the way they ended it with her, I feel like. You know, I, I still feel like they should have killed her off. So that's the, um... I just said that, but... At the same time, how they end... How, uh... Tiffany ended the season... I think maybe you won't... It won't be as bad as, like... All the stuff with her was this season. You know what I mean? Like, it's not gonna feel like a cartoon. Like how it did before. Because now something happened to where it's more in line with the rest of the show. If it, I'm, I'm trying not to spoil, but yeah. Otherwise, I don't really have much to say. It's it's kind of weird reviewing half a season, you know? I don't really remember how I did it uh, in, when the first half of the season uh, ended. I don't even think I gave the first half of the season, like, a review score, because I think, like, I was just waiting for the uh, full season to be done. I think, uh, I might, I might have given it, like, a thumbs up. This, season, season two, uh, three, part two, I might have to get, not thumbs down, because it wasn't thumbs down. The finale was not great, but the rest of the second half of the season was... Alright, like, I, I liked season, episode 5. That was good. Episode 6 and 7, like, really had me on the edge of my seat, but did some stuff that was very bizarre. And then episode, and then the finale, just, again, it, 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 they just didn't stick the landing. They they can't, I, they, they, they just can't seem to stick the landing. So the second half of the season, I'm going to give it thumbs in the middle. Uh, but as... But now that the entire season is done, I can I'll give Chucky season three. I'll give it a seven out of ten. That's my review for Chucky season three part two, and I guess as a whole the rest of the season. Uh, I don't know if we're getting a season four. Uh, uh, there is. I've heard that like Don Mancini has pitched a season four, and there's also going to be a Chucky movie that's going to be kind of in line with the series. Uh, so we'll see what the future of this franchise holds, but I honestly think it might be time to wrap it up, you know. If this isn't the last season, I feel like season four should be the last season. But what do you guys think? Let me know down below. Anyways, be sure to like, subscribe, or I will kill you. Bye!